Good evening, welcome to brand new day. Day number five, I think we are on five today. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Can you see me? Yes, yes, yes. You're very clear. Okay. Yes. Uh, so okay. welcome to. Yes. Uh, welcome to my page. Thank you. Uh, tell us about yourself. A little bit about yourself. What do you do? Yeah, sure. So I was just wondering if uh, I should be able to see myself because I'm not able to. Oh, I think you should uh, you should turn it to like a front camera, maybe. Okay. Oh no, no, no! Now it's gone back. I think. Yeah. You can't see yourself. Yeah, I can't see myself. Shall we try again? Should I request again? Yeah, I'll send a request. Okay. I think I think you can close. I'll okay. Yeah. Great. Let's do that. Hey, Brudilla, can you see yourself now? No, I can't. I think probably we should just continue. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, can everybody see uh, Brudilla? Can someone leave a text in the comment section, please? Yes. Meanwhile, Brudilla, uh, tell us what do you do? Yeah. So right now, uh, I'm a full-time yoga instructor. Um, yeah, I, I'm 26. And I left my corporate job just about a year ago exactly. I think, I think it will be one year next October. Uh, I've been practicing yoga for, uh, I mean, on and off for a long time, really. But again, uh, I, pra I started practicing again regularly since about two years to three years. And um, when I was working, I'd gone through a couple of things professionally and personally that, that I thought maybe this is not, you know, where I want to, you know, go or I don't see myself in the same path. So I wanted to, you know, pursue yoga full time, you know, practice, put, it, put more time into practice and maybe also help others you know uh, start with the practice and you know experience the practice that's really good um so where are, where are you where are you located are you from hyderabad i'm in hyderabad okay so you you practice yoga and also you teach yoga yes that's correct so uh, whenever i tell my patients to start practicing yoga uh, for anxiety or panic attacks or depression they ask me what kind of yoga so I thought I should do a session today to tell people what kind of yoga, you know, what kind of breathing exercises, what kind of uh, asanas, sure. uh, all of that. And also, uh, <clears throat> like I, I never practiced yoga, but I think I went for a one month uh, uh, yoga sessions. It really helped me calm down. It, I had I had bad road rage. I had to confess, like in Hyderabad traffic, I work for three to four hospitals, so it's so difficult to get to places because. People are kind of silly on road. So I used to get very irritated. And by the time I go to my clinic or hospital, I'm not peaceful. Um, so yoga really helped me. You know, in one month, I could see a lot of difference. I was a little more calm. I was more composed. Um, 
so i do believe in yoga 100% every patient who walks into my clinic i suggest them to go take yoga classes 50% of them do uh do uh, what i say and they actually come back better so they are off medications quicker and the prognosis is much better uh they don't have a relapse yes yes that's why i thought yoga so do you have a plan for today how do you want to start and how do you want to go ahead yeah yeah absolutely so uh we can start off with uh some centering and breath awareness so it's really important to kind of before we begin any kind of asana practice even pranayama in fact so it's really important for us to kind of be aware of a natural breathing pattern first and once we start that we'll do a couple of deep breaths we'll breathe together and then start with very simple asanas today and i want to include more of forward folds because they're naturally calming uh, because the idea is to basically exhale for longer longer exhalation really help probably you would know this too uh, you know as a uh, you know because you're into this neurology this subject so longer breaths longer exhalation really help in calming down the mind uh, so we'll we'll do more of that at the end and also i want to end with a uh, two or three pranayama depending on the time yeah. so we'll do nadi shodhana we'll do brahmari and we'll do four is to six or one is to do a uh, breathing technique yes we we'll try that yes sounds All good right. so yeah. i can't see myself so let me know in case if uh, because i go to the mat so do let me know if you're able to see me and hear me well yeah perfect that. Is it okay? Yes, great, great. All right. So whoever is joining, just get yourself comfortable. Come down to any meditative posture, sitting posture. And if you're someone uh, with back pain or if you have knee pains, try to elevate your spine. You can use a blanket. You can use a blanket or any uh, block. If you have yoga blocks, that would be great too. So place that right under your sitting bones. Just to elevate your spine, and we'll start the awareness of the physical posture from our feet. We will move our feet away from ourselves, away from our inner thighs, away from our groin. Relaxing your knees. If you have knee pains, make sure that you. actually move your feet wider away from yourself and bring your awareness towards your pelvic region and towards your lower back think of lifting yourself up and the next breath you take visualize breathing into your spine and sitting a little taller visualize breathing into your spine sitting taller and next inhalation think of lifting your front body up think of lifting your front body up as you exhale relax your shoulders down moving them up back and down keeping the chest lifted up you want to relax your palms arms facing upwards and draw your elbows closer to your body whenever you're ready close your eyes And we'll start by becoming aware of the physical posture with our eyes closed. Starting with your toes, acknowledging your physical body here, the cross legs, or whichever position that you're seated in. Notice your sitting bones press down towards the ground. Notice your spine lifting up towards the roof, towards the ceiling. Shoulders relaxed, chest lifted up, the chin parallel to the ground. Once you're fully aware of your physical posture, you're going to shift your awareness towards your breath. Simply becoming aware of your natural breathing pattern. 
you're not doing anything, you're simply becoming aware of your inhalation and exhalation. And at any point of time, if you think you're too distracted, a lot of thoughts coming into your mind, you will place your right palm on your belly, left palm on your chest, and start noticing the physical aspect of your breath. Maybe with a slight expansion, your belly and your chest, with every inhalation, Try to bring yourself to this present moment, bringing yourself fully onto the mat, using your breath. All right to have a lot of thoughts coming into your mind, a lot of other distractions around you. Acknowledge them fully and bring your attention towards your breath. Feel the breath around the rim of your nose, on the top of your upper lip. Soften your facial muscles. Now slowly let's try and increase the duration of our breath. By inhaling into your belly, into your lower belly. Feel your pubic bone if you can. Exhale, empty your lungs out. Relax on your shoulder. Four more times. Inhale. Allow yourself to breathe in deep without any force. Exhale. Out through your nose. Empty your lungs out. Three more times. Inhale. 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 Exhale. 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 Be breath in. Longer exhalation out. One last time, deeper inhalation and longer exhalation. Relax your palms onto your thighs or your knees. Continuing with the deep breaths. Now we'll try inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Kind of like sighing it out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Sigh it out. Relax your shoulders, relax all the tension in your neck, shoulders, upper back. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through your mouth. One last time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Drop your shoulders down. Continuing with the deep breaths. Now let's join our palms together at the heart center. Press into your palms. Press your thumbs against your sternum, your chest bone. Slightly lower your chin down. Now we'll start by chanting OM only one time. Try to chant from your chest or your abdomen and notice the vibration as you chant along. And if you're not comfortable chanting OM, you can simply hum. Inhale. Release your palms. Place them on your thighs again. Slowly open your eyes.
Relax the hips, strengthen, warm up. So drop your palms down. If you're joining, just now, just grab a mat, maybe a blanket, settle down, any seated posture, and we'll begin. Drop your palms down on your side of your body. Inhale, lift your arms over your head without lifting your shoulders up towards your ears. Lift your arms up, and if you can, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. Think of lengthening your spine and the sides of your body. Exhale, drop your palms down and your chin down towards the chest. Inhale, lift your arms up, chin up. Exhale, drop your palms down, chin down towards the chest. One last time. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, drop your palms down onto the ground, chin down towards the chest. Next inhalation. Come back to the center. And if you're comfortable with this blanket underneath, you can continue. Otherwise, you can take it off. And notice your physical posture one more time with your back, especially in case if you're arching or rounding or kind of dropping down. So think of elevating, breathing into your spine, lifting yourself up. Press down into your sitting bones. Now we're going to work on the spine a little and then waking up the upper body. As you inhale, you're going to open your arms wide, move the chest forward. Now your lower back is arching a little. Inhale, lift your chin up if you can. Exhale, round your spine, drawing your lower abdomen and round your spine, back of the palms come together, chin down. Inhale, open your arms, move the chest up, chin up. Exhale, round your spine, back of the palms come together. One more time. Inhale, open your arms wide, open your chest, lower back slightly arching. Exhale, round your spine, chin towards the chest, the back of the palms coming together. Now one last time, you're going to also lift the knees up. Inhale, open your arms, look up. Keeping your awareness in your spine now. Exhale, round your spine, lift your knees up towards the chest, chin down. Here, here. One, knees towards the chest, chin towards the chest. Two, keep breathing. And three, slowly as you inhale, open your arms, drop them down. Now, similar one now. Inhale, open your arms wide. And as you exhale, you're going to round your spine and hug yourself, placing your palms up on your upper back or your shoulders. Drop your elbows down, drop your chin down. Stay here. One, keep breathing. Try to walk your fingertips closer towards each other. Two, three, inhale, open your arms one more time and you're gonna switch the arms. Exhale, left elbow comes on top of your right. Drop your shoulders down and elbows down. Drop your chin towards the chest. One, keep breathing. Two, three, slowly inhale, open your arms, coming back to the center, drop your palms down. Now we're going to just work on the lower body, simply waking up the lower body. Extend your legs out with your knees bent and your ankles slightly away from your knees. Drop your palms or place your palms by your hips. Open the chest, inhale, exhale, drop your knees down towards the right side. Simply so waking up the lower body, the hip flexors, inhale, lift up, exhale towards the left. Notice a twist in your lower back, inhale at the center, exhale towards the right. And make sure that your knees are hip width apart or maybe chest width apart, just so that they'll be relaxed once you drop them down. Inhale at the center, exhale over to the left. Look to the side as well, just adding to the twist. One last time, inhale at the center, exhale over to the right. Look over to the left if you can. Inhale at the center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to the center. Walk your feet closer towards your body again. Wrap your arms around your legs, your shin bones. Drop your head down. Just take a moment here. Reconnect with your breath. 
in case if you are drifting or a lot of distractions around day. One, two, and three. You can choose to stay for a couple of more breaths if you need to. Release your palms, drop your palms down. Now we take our legs over to one side and come on to tabletop. Coming on to tabletop position. So place your knees and your palms down on the mat. And your wrists are shoulder width apart and your knees are hip width apart. Relax the tops of your feet. If you're not sure you're doing it well, you can also measure the distance by dropping your forearms down and the of your fingertips and that's where you place your palms. So for some of you that might not fit really, but choose whichever variation that you're okay with. Press into the fingertips as well, your knuckles and the base of your palms. And not just your palms. So think of pressing into your fingertips, your knuckles, the area between your thumb and your index finger. Press into the palms. Lift your upper back slightly away from the mat. Your spine is neutral, neck is in line with your spine. Stay here. Look down between your palms or towards the top center of the mat. Now we'll take three tapped out breaths. As you inhale, you're going to again keep the awareness in your spine and also your breath. Being aware of your spine and the breath here. Inhale, drop your belly down, lifting the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Open the chest, look forward. Exhale, round your back. Draw your lower abdomen, chin down towards the chest. Inhale, drop your belly down, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, draw your spine, chin towards the chest. Try to integrate the breath and the movement. Inhale, drop your belly down, shoulders away from your ears, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, chin towards the chest. Slowly come back to the center, back to tabletop. Now we're going to move in a plank position. Palakasana or Adhukha Dandasana. So press into your fingertips, your knuckles and the base of your palms. Press away. Protract your shoulders or move away. Noticing your shoulder blades moving away from each other. From here, you're going to draw your belly in first before, the, before you move on to plank. Draw your core towards the spine, navel towards the spine. Walk your right leg back, pressing into your foot, pushing your heel away, pushing into your heel. Now walk your left leg back, coming into a plank, just to create some fire in your belly. Notice that prana in your body, moving away, press into your heels. Think of pressing into your heels and notice the engagement in your back of your legs. Pull your kneecaps up, squeeze your thighs, forming your glutes. Stay here. One. If you can't, hold here. You can also drop your knees down away from your hip joints. Stay here. Two. Whichever variation that you're in. Three. Keep breathing. Only through your nose. Four. And. Five, slowly move your hips up, coming into a downward facing dog. Drop your heels down if you can, otherwise bend your knees and you're going to walk or drop one heel down, bend the other knee and just pedal it out. Think of lengthening your spine, relax your head, relax your neck. Think of stretching those hamstrings, back of your legs, knees, your hips down. Staying here just for a moment. Now drop your knees down. Now we're going to walk your knees slightly away. Walk your knees slightly away from each other as wide as your mat. Drop your feet down. Your big toes touching. Heels are separated. Push your heels away. Your hips away towards your heels. Walk your palms forward. Drop your forehead down. Drop your forehead down. Let's take eight breaths here. And of calming ourselves down. Being aware of the breath and our body. Keep walking your palms forward, lengthening your spine. 
expanding the body. Creating more space in the body and allow the prana to come in. Visualize every breath, every inhalation, reaching every cell in your body, trying to nourish you, heal you. One. And this is not accessible to you for any reason. You can also place a pillow down or a bolster right in front of you and you can relax on that. Simply elevate the floor. Elevate the ground by placing some pillow or a blanket and you can drop your head down on that. Three. Think of pressing your heel, hips down towards your heel. And keep on walking your arms forward. Four. And five. Slowly look forward, press into your palms, lift your hips up, coming back to tabletop just for a moment. Moving down towards Rasan. Now with your knees slightly towards each other, press your hips down towards your heels. Now we're going to try another posture from tabletop actually. Come back to tabletop. You're going to drop your head down. Just the top of your head down if you can. And you're going to relax your arms. Relax your arms. Stay here just for about three to five breaths. Whichever variation that you want to take. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly looking forward, lift your head up, press into your palms. Again, lift your hips up one more time. And we want to walk forward towards the top of the mat, taking tiny steps. Maybe lift your arms up, come on top to the top of the mat. Bend your knees here, feet slightly wide apart. Bend your knees, grab the opposite elbows. You're going to press your chest down towards your thighs. Let your head hang here and move from side to side. Move from side to side again. Keep your eyes closed or open. Move as slowly as you can. Relaxing your upper body. Do a little blood brush to your head. Slowly drop your palms down. Keep your knees bent if you need to and look forward. Adhyotanasana. And exhale again. Lock your palms down. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Relax the head. Inhale. Lift your head forward. Up. Looking forward. You can also place your palms on your thighs. Exhale. Chest down. Head down. Inhale. Chest up. Look forward. Exhale. Chest down. Head down. One last time. Inhale. Look forward. Keep your palms on your thighs. Drawing your palms down. Exhale, chest down, head down. Slowly next inhalation. Lift yourself up. Slowly come on up to the center. Uttarasana. Now we're going to press our feet down into the mat. So one after another, setting up in Tarasana. Lift your right foot up, pressing into your right heel. Think of lengthening, stretching the rest of the foot. First, draw the inner arch. Draw the inner arch, pressing the big toe down. Spread the rest of the toes and drop them down. Widen the rest of the toes, drop them down. Same thing on the other side. Press into your left heel. Stretch, lift the rest of the foot. And drop your inner arch and the big toe. Widen the rest of your toes and drop it down. Pull your kneecaps up, squeeze your thighs. Tuck your pelvis in. If you're not sure how to do that, you can go by the wall and think of moving uh, your pubic bone towards the wall. Think of pressing that towards the wall, lowering the back body down and lifting up the front body. Lifting up the front body and lowering down the drop, uh, dropping down the back body. 
Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Open the chest, chin paddle to the ground. Now we're gonna take our palms behind the back. Interlock the fingers. Roll the shoulders one more time. And again, if this is not accessible to you, you can use a towel or a strap or a belt, anything to kind of hold it. Otherwise, interlock your fingers, roll the shoulders, open the chest. Now again, feet hip width apart, press into your feet firmly. Inhale, open the chest, look up. Now bend your knees, exhale, lower down, chest towards your thighs. Relax, drop the head down, lift your arm. Stay here. Two, one. Keep breathing. Two, notice your inhalations and exhalations. Don't hold your neck back. Relax, let it drop down. Three, don't resist. Four, bend your knees as much as you need to. Place your chest down towards your thighs. And five, slowly as you inhale, look forward, drop your arms down, inhale. Come on up, release your palms down. Release your palms. Great. Now again, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift your arms up over the head if you can, lift up. Exhale, drop your palms down. Bend your knees if you need to. Look forward as you inhale. Press into your palms, take your right leg back and the left leg back in a plank. Drop your knees down. Slowly lower the entire body down if you can. Place your elbows close to your body. Lower the entire body down. Relax your feet. Inhale, lift your chest up. Feel your navel. Shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze in the glutes. Curl your toes. Lift your hips up. Coming into a downward dog again. Now, you can either place your right foot onto the, uh, beside your right palm. Left foot beside your left palm and slowly lowering down in Malasana position. And to some of you, it might not be accessible. If that's the case, you want to again double up on the mat or place something under your heels and lower down. This is the Malasana position. Think of releasing your hips. Press your elbows down on the inside of your thighs or your knees. Press into your palms. And close your eyes just for a moment. So stay here just for five breaths again. Think of releasing your pelvic muscles. Release your hips. So actually generally you saw a lot of tension in your neck, shoulder, and also the hips. So with every exhalation, think of releasing the muscles there. Release. One, two, three. Keep breathing. Four and five. Slowly open your eyes. If you have your eyes closed, drop your palms forward. Lift your hips up. Walk your palms again. Now, either you can bend your knees, lower the hips down, or slowly come on down to any. Sitting position again, we're going to do another forward fold. Extend your legs out. Extend your legs out. You're going to slowly bend your knees, press into your heels. Inhale here at the center. You're going to do Paschimottanasana, but again, it's a modified or just a modification. You don't have to go all the way, you don't have to stretch your hamstrings also this way. And the main idea is to kind of hug the chest towards the thighs. Inhale here. Think of lengthening your spine. Exhale. Chest forward. Open the shoulders. Roll them back. Walk your palms forward. Drop your head down. Drop your head down. Stay. One, if you can. Also walk your heels slightly away from your body. If you can do full Paschimottanasana, you can do that. Drop your head down, stay here. One, two, three, relax your feet. Four, and five. Slowly look forward. Walk your palms 
back, coming back to the center, extend your legs up and slowly lower down. Slowly lower down. If you want to again, create that heat in your belly. Extend your arms forward and slowly lower down. If I say 10, slowly lower down. And we'll drop the head down on count of one. Down your back here. 10, keep lowering down. Nine, press into your heels. Eight, seven. If your belly starts to shake, it's all right. Six, five, four, lower down, it's all right. Three, two, and drop your head down. Relax your palms, the back of your palms dropping down on the mat, palms towards the ceiling. Bend your knees here, pressing your lower back down. Press your lower back down onto the mat. Again, tucking the pelvis in. This is what we were trying to do in Tadasana as well. Press your feet down, knees slightly away from each other. Move your shoulders away from your ears, from your neck. Pressing your body towards the ground. Now slowly lift your feet off the mat. Bend your knees towards the chest. Place your palms on your shin bones or maybe hold your knees. If you can, you can wrap your arms around your legs. Drop your chin down. Think of blending the back of your neck. Stay only for three breaths here. One, two, three. Slowly, you want to move your knees away from each other. Move your knees apart, chest width apart if you can. Extend your arms forward, and if you can, grab the outer edges of your feet. Grab the outer edges of your feet, drop your chin down. Slowly lift them up if you can. Placing the soles of the feet towards the roof, towards the seat. And don't lift your lower back up. Think of pressing your lower back down. It's all right even if you're just holding your legs over here or maybe your knees. If you can, hold the outer edges of your feet. Hold them and keep on lifting your feet up. And think of pressing your knees down towards your armpits or towards the ground. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly release your palms, walk your knees together again. Hug them towards the chest one more time. And if you can, lift your legs up. Lift your legs up. Or before you sit down, you can also do by the wall. I'll just show you in a minute. So you can press the low back onto the mat. If you can't straighten your legs, or you want to rest actually in this posture for five minutes, you can go by the wall. It's a great posture. It's a mild inversion also. It's really great for calming down. It has a number of benefits, like you know, reversing the age, as they say. And also pretty calming. Stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, if you want to do this by the wall, yes. if you want to do this by the wall, or any flat surface actually, you can come by a wall. You will sit by the wall. You will sit by the wall, bending your knees, pressing your feet down towards the wall. Drop your palms down. It looks complicated, but again, it's easy when you try it. All right, try it. Give it a try. And inhale, slowly roll over. Drop your forearms down. Roll over and lift your legs up. Lift your legs up. It's all right if you're moving up. Your body is actually away from your wall. Try to press your feet in and slowly walk your body towards the wall. If your hips don't touch the wall, that's all right too. 
Think of pressing your heels into the wall. Relax your arms. Relax your arms here. With your elbows bent by your shoulders. It's a great posture to relax and release at the end of the day. Shoulders slightly away from your ears. Press your lower back down into the mat. Again, try to bring yourself to the moment using your breath. We'll stay here for eight more breaths and we'll move on to pranayam. If you don't have one, it's all right. You can simply lift your legs up. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly, once you need to come out of the posture, from the face, the curly, you're going to bend your knees, hug your knees slightly towards the chest, roll over to the side. And you can wish to actually stay in the posture for a little longer if you choose to, otherwise, come out. And slowly move on to uh, two or three. Yeah. Couple of pranaya. So will you be doing a lot, uh, Charan? I'm not sure if you're practicing or if. Yes, yes, is... yes. Okay. I think I'll try to do it along. I tried, I tried breathing with you. I didn't do any other exercise. Okay, with... Yeah, yeah. I was just taking care. The live is not going to go off. But I'll save this okay. later and I'll definitely practice whatever you're, you're teaching today. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. So probably now we can do pranayama together in yeah. case if you're sure. okay with that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So once you come out of it with the kalini, take your time in relaxing. Again, sitting in any of the meditative postures, sitting postures, Vajrasana or Sukhasan. This is Sukhasan, easy pose. Relaxing your legs. You can also choose a chair to sit on. It's absolutely fine. Dropping the shoulders down with every exhalation, releasing the tension in your neck, your upper back, facing your palms, open towards the wall, towards the ceiling. Noticing your breath coming back to its natural breathing pattern. Relaxing your breath. Slowly open your eyes whenever you're ready. And now we're going to start with Nadi Shodhana Pranaya. Keeping your left palm relaxed on your left knee, or you can also choose to take Dhyan Mudra or Chin Mudra, pressing the tips of your thumb and your index finger and relaxing the rest of the palm onto the knee. If you're not comfortable with this, you can also drop it down, placing the palm or cupping your palm over the knee. And with your right palm, open your palm and moving on Pranav Mudra. So you're going to close or curl your index and your middle finger. We'll be using our thumb and the ring finger to do the Nadi Shodhana Pranav. Yes. So again, we're not exaggerating, exaggerating the breath at all. Simply inhaling and exhaling our natural breath at this point. So relax the breath, inhale and exhale. You can probably observe the first two rounds and then you can join along. Inhale and exhale. And one more thing, we're also not going to push into the nostrils. Place your fingertips right at the top of your nostril, just on the bridge of your nose and simply switch. Simply switching. Or a very light pressure just at the top of your nose. Again, this is also called as Anulom Vilom Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. So it really kind of helps in balancing the energies in our body. So in Hatha Yoga, it's called the sun and the moon. 
uh, or the masculine and feminine energy in our bodies, right in the left side of the body. And uh, in terms of Kundalini Yoga, it's again, it's Ida and Pingala to kind of stimulate the Sushumna Nadi, that is, you know, uh, Nadi in between, Ida and Pingala. Now, you will try and practice this and see how it feels. You can also try actually noticing uh, the dominant nostril before even you begin the practice. So notice maybe one of your nostrils might be dominant than the other. If it's equal, that's wonderful. It's absolutely great. That's the main idea behind it. Now with your Pranav Mudra, we're going to slowly inhale and exhale out. Take a nice inhalation in. Close your right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close. Exhale through the left. Continue just for a couple of more breaths at your own pace. Normal breaths in and out. You're not holding the breath at any point of time in between. Few more breaths. Last one. As you exhale through your left nostril, release your palm, relax it on your knee. Notice your breath again. Notice the quality of your breath at the end of this pranayama. Taking a moment here. We'll slowly move on to one is two ratio of the breath. You can also, after five minutes of Nadi Shodhana, you can also check your dominant nostril again. Notice if it changes or if there's any difference. Now we're going to try and inhale for four and exhale for eight. If that's too much for you, you can start with inhaling for two and exhaling for four. Any variation works. So we'll start by two is to four, maybe. Yeah. And we'll see if we can. One, uh, to four is to eight. Ratio. Relax your palms. You can also actually lay down. Lay down on your back. You can bend your knees. Just another variation. Kind of. Do this pranayam. Pressing your lower back onto the mat. And you're going to place your tips of your thumbs and your index finger together and place them right over, forming a triangle. So you sit right over your navel, on your belly, pressing into your feet nicely and your lower back onto the mat. Relax the shoulders and your upper back. And you can also do the seated in Sukhasana, any variation that you've chosen. Let's begin. Before we begin, inhale and exhale out. Exhale out completely. And now let's begin. Inhale. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, 
exhale one two three four and continue for a couple of more breaths on your own pace at your own pace by yourself we're not holding our breath again at any point of time and let your breath be soft and easy inhaling and exhaling out without any force And slowly we'll try and increase the duration and we'll see if we're able to do it. Only a couple of more rounds. Inhaling for four and exhaling for eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, Four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last two. Inhale. Two, three. Four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We wish you a couple of more. Do it at your own pace. Slowly relax your palms wherever you are, in whichever position that you are in. Lying down on your back, slowly roll over to the right side, pressing yourself back into Sukhasana. Now the last one, the last Kalyanga that we will practice is Brahmari. It's actually one of my favorites to kind of relax, you know, during the anxiety or any kind of anxiousness that we normally face in our everyday lives, any kind of stress. It also helps in sleeping better. So if you have anybody has any issues with uh, getting good sleep, try doing this practice maybe before you go to bed or maybe at the end of the day, whenever you're done with it. So Brahma is also called uh, the buzzing bee pranayam or bee spread. So we simply humming the sound, just the sound ma, and we're also closing the ears. So if anybody has any ear infection or ear pain, you may want to skip this. Or simply say, uh, simply hum it out without using your uh, index fingers against your ears. And others, uh, you're going to place the tips of your index fingers right over the ear lobes, just the cartilage, soft part of your ear, pressing into that, relax the rest of your palm. So we're going to be placing that. We're also, we're also be closing our eyes and we inhale, and as we exhale, we simply hum, just the sound ma. Simply think of letting it out and don't worry about how it sounds like. Let the sound out and notice the vibrations in it. So I'll start, then you can probably join along. Of course, we'll do five of those and you can probably do them at your own pace later on. And you can do about nine or eleven if you have the time. Now, press the tips of your index fingers right onto your ear lobes. Don't put too much pressure, very light pressure. Close your eyes, relax your elbows. Or inhale, exhale, start humming it out. Inhale. Inhale. Mm. 
relax your arms onto your thighs or your knees. Notice the subtle sensations in your head. Staying with your breath. Slowly join your palms together at the heart center. Pressing your palms together. Lower the chin down. Take a moment. Here again to check in with the quality of your breath. Checking with your mind and your body, all the emotions coming up, all the physical sensations maybe, simply acknowledge without any judgment, without analyzing any emotions or thoughts at this point. Remind yourself of all the things that you're grateful for. The time that you've taken today to practice, all the things that you're able to do with your healthy body and mind. With that, let's end the practice by chanting Om and Shanti three times. Inhale. Om. Rub your palms together, keeping your eyes closed. Once they're warm enough, place them or cup them right over your eyes, feeling the warmth. Open your eyes into your palms, slowly moving them away from your face, looking at the lines on your palms, noticing your physical body. Join the palms together. Namaste. Thank you. Hope uh, people were able to practice with that. Hope it was clear. It was very clear. Thank you so much, Mridila. Especially the breathing You're techniques. Uh, I mean, I didn't do the whole session. I just did like last five minutes. I'm feeling a little better. Okay. I'm feeling a little relaxed. Obviously, I don't have muscle tension anymore. And my chest feels a little light. Um, I think I'll be able to do it better when I'm not live. <laughs> yeah, I know. At my, at my I was quite nervous to actually when the session started. But again, the breathing kind yeah. of relaxed me as well. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Um, I'll be saving this and if anyone wants to come and practice every day also they can come and you know practice here and I also see that yes. you share a lot of yoga videos on your page um, yeah yes yeah. yeah if people want to know current yoga postures they can they can check out uh, Mridula's profile it's called my yoga journey um, I'm going to yes. tag her uh, in this post so you can go and check her work um, uh, and Thank you so much. You know, you have a good, uh, you. you have a good day ahead. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye-bye.